hello everyone and welcome back today we are going to take one more class of bryophyta and this class is named as bryopsida or mosses uh, the bryopsida or mosses it represents the largest class of bryophyta which is represented by some 14500 species which are distributed worldwide and this class of bryophytes they are better adapted to live in terrestrial habitats as compared to liverworts and hornworts and they grow mostly on moist soil rocks damp walls and on the stems of trees in tropical rain forests now something about their gametophyte in these plants the gametophyte is differentiated into two growth stages the first one is the prostate protonema protonema sorry and the second one is erect radial leafy shoot now protonema protonema is the juvenile stage in the life cycle and this juvenile protonema it develops from the germination of the spore when spore germinates it forms a prostate protonema and this prostate protonema is it is horizontal it is filamentous and green in structure and this prostate protonema it is a transient vegetative stage that means it does not remain for long time this prostate protonema it gives rise to erect radial leafy shoots at places for example this is the prostate protonema it is here giving rise to this erect radial leafy shoots <coughs> excuse me and these erect radial leafy shoots which are constituted of leaf like appendages and stem like axes they are known as gametophores okay now you can simply remember that you have a prostate protonema and that prostate protonema it gives rise to erect radial leafy shoots which are known as gametophores and in these gametophores you can find some leaf like structures they are arranged radially or spirally on the stem like axis these leaves are simple they are sessile that means they, are, they do not possess any stalk and they are one cell layer thick okay now rhizoids in this class of bryophyta rhizoids are present and these rhizoids are multicellular branched and they possess oblique septa for example this is a rhizoid this rhizoid is branched here okay this is branched and these branched multicellular rhizoids are having septa which are oblique obliquely oriented okay they are obliquely oriented this is the distinguishing feature of this class of bryophytes okay now one more feature of this class is that in these plants they possess stem like axes okay while as in case of uh hepaticopsida and anthocerotopsida there is no stem like axis and one more feature in these plants is that this stem like axis it is having for example i will take a transverse section it is having central conducting tissue okay and peripheral cortex and this conducting tissue is composed of two types of cells one is known as leptoid which is involved in the transport of food and second one is known as hydroid which is involved in the movement of water theek hai beta this is also the distinguishing feature of this class of bryophytes okay now vegetative reproduction in bryopsida in bryopsida vegetative reproduction takes place by a number of means for example fragmentation budding or sometimes branching of protonema jo primary protonema hota hai that branches that gives rise to a number of branches and each branch is expected to give rise to a number of leafy shoots or gametophores okay 
Now the sex organs in Bryopsida. First of all, let me tell you that the Bryopsids are either monoecious or they are dioecious. Monoecious means both Anthridia and Archegonia they are present on the same plant. They are present on the same gametophore. Okay. And dioecious means when Anthridia are present on one plant and Archegonia are present on another plant, this condition is known as dioecious condition. That means sex is completed in two separate individuals. Okay. You have to remember this point. Here in these organisms, in these plants, the sex organs are born in groups at the apices of, for example, I will show you here. This is the apex of gametophore, okay. This is bearing leaves here. And this apex, it, here at the top, it bears a number of sex organs in groups, okay. That means at the apices of the branches, at the apices of the gametophore, sex organs are produced in groups. And these sex organs, they are protected by paraphyses and pericatal leaves. That means those leaves which cover these sex organs. They protect sex organs from desiccation. Okay, beta. You have to simply remember this, that the sex organs are present at the apices of the leafy shoots. Okay. And now, something about their Anthridia and Archegonia. Okay, in this uh, class, the Anthridia are club shaped, they are narrow and elongated. And these Anthridia produce Anthrozoids, which are biflagellated and they are spirally coiled. The Archegonia in these plants, they are stalked, that means they are having a stalk. And this Archegonia is also having a massive venter. Okay? This is common for all the classes, but I am repeating these things just to uh, make you uh, understand what type of Archegonia okay, they are having. And finally, they are sporophyte. The sporophyte in case of Bryopsida, it is having a proper foot, seta, and a capsule. But in these plants, the seta is very much elongated. Here you can see in this image, the seta is very much elongated, and it helps us in raising the capsule above. Okay, capsule becomes projected, and this help us in the proper dispersal of the spores. That means when capsule is projected above the pericatal leaves, it helps us in the proper dispersal of the spores. And one more important feature of this uh, class is, capsule has several, several layered wall with stomata and in the epiderm, sorry, yeah, with stomata in the epiderm. For example, this is capsule. This capsule is having epidermis and this epidermis is at type uh, at some places having stomata okay stomata are present in the capsule wall here you can see this structure here this represents an epidermis okay and one more important feature of this class is the capsule is having a central sterile tissue and this central sterile tissue is known as it is known as columella. We have already discussed this in Anthocerotopsida. Okay. And one more important feature is that elators are absent in this class of bryophytes. Okay, elators are absent. And one more important feature is that the capsule also bears a cap-like structure at the top and this cap-like structure is known as operculum and below the operculum you are having peristome teeth and actually in these bryophytes the peristome teeth are helping in the dispersal of spores. I think this is all for bryopsids and next time we will 
uh, start with our next division of plants that is stereophyta thank you and god bless you all